We're on easy street And it feels so sweet Cause the world is but a treat When you're on easy street Welcome to the Easy Street Radio Show Hosted by Rob Scribner Grab a cup of coffee and let's get started Hey, thanks for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. This will help us grow. Also note, buying some of our merchandise or donating to our channel is very helpful also. Thank you for supporting our show. Hello everyone and welcome to Easy Street. Easy Street is a show that talks about whatever we want to talk about. <laughs> so I'm Ranger Rob and welcome to the show. Uh, I also want to let you know you can find Easy Street on Good Talk Radio, Spreaker, uh, iHeart Radio, on and on. And the best way to find us is just go down to our description, find the link, and find the best process you'd like to find to listen to Easy Street. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, so today uh, I wanted to talk about healthcare. So. Uh, if you don't think we might have a problem with the CV stuff, um, and I got to watch my wording because uh, you know why. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> here's my concern. Money. <laughs> you know, money. So anyway, let's say you're not feeling so hot and you might think you have a cold or flu thing going on. So uh, if you just go to... You know your local place uh, damage isn't too bad um, your insurance may cover some of it um, however what we don't know for sure and that's what this show is all about is maybe you should do a little homework what if you have to go to an emergency and they are concerned that you might have this CV situation what <laughs> will your insurance pay for it so i my understanding is the test is done over at a cdc and, and it's paid for there in some cases um, however a lot of states and stuff want to do it themselves so what are they going to charge you to have this test so if they just do like a regular test a swab type thing um, they're charging from fourteen hundred dollars for the test and it could be up to 3200 or better if they do the scan and uh, uh, to check your chest uh, for uh, for chest. Uh, well, it's not an x-ray, <clears throat> um, but it's very expensive. Will your insurance pay for it? And if you have to stay there overnight, and we're talking about a hospital or emergency room, uh, you're going to have quite a bill on your hands. <laughs> Can you do that? Will you be able to afford that? So that's the problem with Americans is, oh, we got great health care. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> However, how many people will not go to the doctor or the emergency if they're not feeling well because of this issue? And I can tell you it's probably a lot. And I can tell you that I, even though I'm, I'm middle class, I, we make good dough, we are wiped out when it comes to the uh, when it comes to our insurance because <clears throat> our deductible is six thousand dollars now most that's not too bad compared to others some are 10 some are even higher so that means you go in there you have to pay, you have to meet your deductible before insurance will cover a lot of things that's a lot of money and a lot of people don't have fourteen hundred to thirty two hundred dollars on hand right there and then um, to cover this expense and uh, this is a problem in America the Obamacare program is what really causes is yes insurance is available to everyone <laughs> yeah you can have insurance however what we're uh, getting killed on is one is the cost of the monthly uh, fees for having insurance and then in, in order to just uh, find something you can afford you have to have these large deductibles and a lot of you know it's funny the other day <clears throat> um 
we're talking to Sherry's mother, who is in, um, we're doing, uh, we're taking care of her. She's in her 80s. And we try to explain to her this healthcare thing. And she doesn't even really realize, because she doesn't care and things like that, just how much it's changed in the last 20 years. And so we explain to her what our what our problem is. We can't just be running to the doctor all the time. She goes all the time. Um, we can't. It's 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 a financial nightmare. Um, and Lord knows if we end up going to the hospital for something serious, holy moly, we get twenty thousand, forty thousand, fifty thousand, hundred thousand. Who's got that kind of money? And the insurance companies are. Um, really a problem. And then the other problem <clears throat> is a lot of insurances, uh, you, know, you have to be in a certain network. These hospitals will use people that are outside of your network and don't tell you. And I, I know this because like, two years ago, I ended up in the hospital where I think it was food poisoning. And I had a test done in, uh, the, um, and one was to scan my stomach, look for ulcers and stuff. When they put me under the anesthesiologist, I believe that's how you say it. Turns out he wasn't under my network. And I ended up having to pay for him. And uh, even when my w wife made sure that, you know, this was the insurance we had, such and such, the, ins uh, the hospitals don't care. And you better care because you're going to, uh, and a lot of people who understand this uh, will not go to the doctors or the hospitals um, if they're not feeling very well because they're afraid of the bill. Do you blame them? Yeah, I know a lot of you people say, well, it shouldn't matter. You should take care of yourself. Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to walk up to you right now and say, give me $3,200 right now. How? <laughs> First of all, <laughs> in fact, why would you give me $3,200? But two, do you have $3,200 right now? Or do you have it kind of, if you put it on a credit card? Yeah. So anyway, uh, of course, uh, today I'm also, you know, this is the end of the week that I'm done the show and every day of the week, except one, the insure, um, stock markets have been, uh, going down by about a thousand points a day. And you say, well, do we have a problem? Uh, yeah, we have a problem. And, uh, so <laughs> the last show I did, I was telling people, wake up and start doing a few things. And then someone left me a note and I do appreciate the comments, but they said, well, give us a tip. Well, what's your tips? And it's like the whole show was a tip. The whole show means wake up America. <laughs> it's time to get moving and prepare. And what I was asking you to prepare on is not so impractical that it doesn't make sense to uh, to do it because um you need to uh, for example like uh up in washington state bothell school district had a little scare thinking that somebody might one of the kids got exposed to uh the cv and uh they closed the school for one day at least I don't know if it went longer than that because of suspicions and that's just suspicions pretty soon it's going to get more and more uh heavier involvement in people having uh, issues to uh, that might show that they have the cv which means uh, a library could get shut down a school could get shut down a college could get shut down and do you have plans in place? What are you going to do? Have you even talked about this with your partner? Seriously, that's what that show yes, last time was about, was starting to get a plan and realize that this could happen. And, and everybody should always look forward for planning for issues or disasters. So is this fear mongering? No, this is common sense planning. Do you not plan for a will or passing away? Do you not plan to have, do you have health insurance? Well, that means you're paying for something that you don't know might happen. 
why can't you put a little bit of water away? Why can't you buy a couple of cases of macaroni and cheese? Go to Costco and kind of like buy a case of a extra case of a little chili. Um, oh my gosh. I mean, there's so many cup of noodles. Buy a couple of little cases of cup of noodles each time you go to the store. Just in case they pull off this self-quarantine thing, um, which is going on in California, which is my neighbor. And uh, I think they have over 3,000 uh, 3, people uh, being recommended to do self-containment. So guys, wake up. America, wake up and realize that <clears throat> we uh, it's time to graduate adulting class. And I know y'all, um, a lot of folks, old and young, are just like, eh, no big deal. This could be a big deal. If you're not prepared, you're going to be in trouble. You may have some big decisions on your hands. You may not be able to go to work the next day. So the, here's the other problem. Major com uh, countries have stopped production. And one of them is that Asian company uh, <laughs> country over there. <laughs> and uh, I'm watching my words. Sorry. So uh, they're not making parts. And you can be in Arizona. You can be in Washington State. You could be in California. You could be in New York. If your company has parts that come in from different countries that have stopped shipping or stop producing pretty soon whatever you're building that depends on their parts won't be there what's going to happen your companies are you'll say well they'll cover my time well no they're businesses if you owned a business and had a bunch of employees that you're paying for and they have to sit around the shop doing nothing are you going to be very happy paying them hundreds of dollars every day no, come on. Businesses don't owe you anything. You work, get a paycheck. You get a paycheck because you work. If you're not working, there's no paycheck and they don't want to pay you. They'll send you on your way, either time off or layoff. That's reality. And it's going to happen to you if you're young or middle-aged or older. It's all about the numbers. Is it, uh, is it kind of ruthless? <laughs> yes. I own businesses. I've had to lay people off. I've been in big corporations. I gave pig, pig slips. It's just reality. It's not personal. It's all about the money. So I'm looking at the stock markets today. It's down 600. This is the fifth day of dropping. And uh, is it that not enough to tell you that something's going on? So guys, please, America, wake up. Two, get on the phone, call your insurance company, and play some what ifs with them. What if I have to get this test? What if I have to get a CT scan, I believe is what it is. Um, am I responsible for that bill? Will you cover it? I think you're going to be a little surprised. I don't think you're going to like the answer. Be that person. Be that responsible dog owner. Be the one they point at saying, hey, he picks up after his dog and he uses Ranger Rob poopy bags. Available at Amazon with free shipping. All right, guys. So here's the other piece of news about the CV stuff, you know, is uh, our neighbors have got it. Mexico confirms two uh, two cases now, and uh, <clears throat> that's not good. So you know, with our open borders thing going on and people getting through so easy, how do you feel about that now? For those of you who want to just let everybody in, <laughs> we really got to test for these people. Not against immigration; we're all immigrants. Just legal. We just want them to come through to. The, the door, the front door that we've opened you know, there then and go through the process. And yeah, we'd love to have them um, as long as they're you know registered and they become Americans and get involved, pay taxes, uh, get their own insurance. I don't want to pay for out of my, I mean, 
I already have billions of dollars being injected into the stock market. <laughs> it's my money <laughs> trying to fix to keep all the rich people rich. Um, I don't want to pay for other people's insurance and health care. Uh, I want them to be able to pay for their own. So guys, we need to be aware that the, um, this problem in uh, uh, Mexico, uh, if they can't contain it, uh, their health care it's hard to say if theirs is worse than ours. At least they can go to the doctor and afford it. So we've got great doctors. We just can't afford it. So what's better? Um, I don't know. But uh, this uh, situation could get rough. And what I'm not worried about whether we catch it is it's not totally deadly all the time. But there's so many unanswered questions like how long does it take to get rid of it? Do you really get rid of it? Does it cause damage? Um, but while it's here, because they want to slow it down, they're going to close things off. What are you going to do if your kid can't go to daycare? What are you going to do if they shut down your business? What are you going to do if uh, you don't have parts and your business has to lay off? Do you have plans in place? What bills do you need to take care of now? What bills do you need to walk away from? I know that sounds terrible, but what if it's so bad that you're so unprepared because everybody's in debt up to their, you know what? Um, are you prepared to make the big decisions? You may have to. I don't like it. You don't like it. But if you ignore it, that's worse. Don't ignore the problems. If there are no problems happen, hey, great. But quit. There's people out there that don't even know this is going on. They, there's like, what are you talking about? They better play in front of their Nintendo. I don't know, guys. I don't know what to tell you. But, uh, uh, It's time to graduate your adulting class. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> and for those of you that that are on top of this stuff and paying attention to it, you say, well, what can I do? Just get a little bit more prepared. That's all. This isn't a hard thing to ask for. Well, it seems like it <laughs> sometimes. But I'm not going to tell you how other than just get extra food be prepared for two three four I would do a month or better and do you have to buy all this crazy dried food that's very really expensive no have you gone to the grocery store right now and you go like Idaho potatoes you can get these little bags that you just add water and you have in, you have mashed potatoes in seconds it's awesome cans of chili go, go to Costco or um, Winco I think it's called um, anyway um, you can get quantities for a really good price and uh no i'm yeah you can go to amazon but if you want to save a little money go you got to get in the car you can get in the car go to costco or winco or i think i can't remember the name of that place anyway where they have bulk food and get some things that are easy to make now once again we're most likely going to have water most likely going to have electricity but if it really got bad and those people don't want to work, we might not have electricity. We may not have water later, but I wouldn't panic about that right away. Um, but I would make sure that you could stay home. And also, if you <laughs> like me and Sherry, Sherry loves Coca-Cola. So if we had to stay home for two to four weeks, uh, we'd run out and she'd go nuts. So we've bought an extra Coca-Cola. The things that you like to have around the house. Maybe you like to have a few sweets. Buy a few bags of M&Ms too. I mean, talk about across the board. Healthy food, of course. But popcorn. Get some popcorn. You're going to be watching Netflix a lot. Anyway, uh, this could happen. Nice to be prepared. If you have a freezer, uh, you can put some of the necessities in there like hamburger and, and sausage and things like that. Bacon. And uh, uh, like I said, we'll probably have power. You'll probably have water. It's not shit. It's the fan totally. It's just uh, 
being prepared. So guys, do it right now. Don't wait. It's happening. And it's getting deeper and deeper every day, closer and closer every day. And uh, it's right at our doorstep. And uh, if it doesn't go any farther than that, that's wonderful. But if you haven't done anything, I'm telling you, do it now. Because then the, the, the shelves are going to get empty. The prices are going to go up. And business is business. You, I know all everybody says, well, that's not right if the businesses raise their prices and stuff. No, but they're going to do it. Do not think they're not going to do it. Anyway, just pay attention and get with it, guys. Please, please, I'm begging you, please. Right after this video, grab your car keys. <laughs> do a little extra shopping. And don't forget about your pets. Yeah, Ranger Rob's got this. And yes, he's got this too. Ranger Rob poopy bags. They're deeper, they're larger, and smell like lemon. Available at Amazon with free shipping. All right, guys, we are back. Thought I'd show you what's going on with the stock markets. It is a Friday. And um, yeah, they've been in quite a roller coaster ride today. Uh, they were every day has been that way. How should you be concerned about this? This is a sign that a lot of people are selling. This is also a sign that the companies, uh, large companies, have got a inventory issue. Those are the big things right there. Uh, if there is going to be um, quarantining, uh, businesses shut down or parts not in, that means profits are going to be lost um, or gains that they've had uh, are going to be lost. That's where it affects you. The other part is, is if you have a 401k, IRAs, um, your your particular kind of pension plan you might say um your problem could be that it'll be no growth if you're young um you may not want to worry about this because uh, most likely will bounce back <clears throat> it could be many years um but if you're my age uh you sh probably should react a little bit or be concerned if you have a large amount of money invested uh, in a 401k or mutual funds, etc. Um, but yeah, there's a problem because we've gone from 20, 29,000 down to 25,000. Um, that's a large drop. Um, I think we're that's well, almost about 5,000 points. It's a lot, almost 6,000 been kind of going shuffling back and forth. We don't know where it's going to stop, uh, but it's going to, it hurts. And then the, you know, they don't want this to happen. So billions of dollars are being pumped into this to try to keep these numbers up so we don't panic. And my question is, if the Federal Reserve is pumping billions, B with a B, billions of dollars into this is that my money is that your money um wouldn't you rather see him put billions of dollars into something like healthcare, maybe covering our cv tests <laughs> uh cdc type stuff i'd love to see them take care of that instead of pumping money into the stock market but that's just me speaking so anyway guys uh this is definitely concerning uh, the other thing is here, let me show you real quick. Here's our current numbers of, uh, uh, of the CV situation. Uh, let me refresh it and see if there's a big change at all. One moment, please. And uh, yeah, so 83,000, that's a lot. 2,800, almost 29,000 people have passed away. And these numbers aren't really that accurate, they say. So uh, be aware of it, um, plan, start planning, be an adult, think about who you, uh, your partner, your kids, whatever, are you prepared? Hey, great news, <laughs> you guys, I know 
with everything that's going on, this has got to be your highest priority. Yes, an easy street radio show hat. Why a hat? Well, one is they're beautiful. We have a great logo. And uh, you got to have this hat. Uh, I don't know how you could go through life every day not knowing you have this hat. So in our description below, you will see a link to Amazon. We sell these on Amazon. And uh, they're great little hats. They're not very expensive. Uh, they're embroidered. And uh, yeah, they're cool hats. So uh, if you get a chance, you want to help support the show, help support the channel, help support all the things we do, either buy some Ranger Rob poopy bags, or would you please consider getting an Easy Street hat? You'd be glad you did. Uh, eventually, I'll let you uh, have a chance at the Ranger Rob hats here, but uh, we, changed, we changed our store. We used to have our own store through Shopify. But we already sell stuff through Amazon. Turns out that we could uh, take our printer and actually in engage it into our Amazon uh, seller account. So uh, cool. I thought that's easy because you get free shipping and it's really easy for everybody. So uh, yeah, our hats are there. So uh, you can just go to Amazon and type in Easy Street Radio Show hat. There you go. <laughs> Lucky you. Well, we're getting to the end of our show. We're only a half hour show and... Uh, that's good though. You don't, you don't need to be hanging out more than a half hour. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for listening to Easy Street. Thank you for your support. Please leave comments below, preferably uh, uh, tactful ones. <laughs> we appreciate it. Um, love to hear your comments and what you're doing to prepare for this CV stuff. Uh, have you got some contingency plans? Have you thought about this stuff? And what about your health care? Have you checked I would love to hear feedback from you guys of, you know, checking in with your health care and, and tell me what they're telling you about taking the test if you need to. Will it devastate you or uh, will they cover it? Is it not covered? I don't know. The, uh, just, the articles are kind of about just a handful of people. Uh, some people may have some awesome insurance that covers all this stuff. But if you don't, please let us share with all of us. Um, and if you'd like to do an interview with us to uh, tell us what you found out, uh, we'd love it. So anyway, guys, please have a great weekend. Have a great day. Be safe. Be smart. Get educated. And don't think about it. Do it. <laughs> Just get it done, guys. Uh, put down the Nintendo. Turn off the TV, feed the dog, and go get some groceries, some extra stuff. Uh, you'd be glad you did. And if you don't use it, just uh, stop going to the grocery store for a while and use it up. It's all good. Win-win. Have a great day, guys. Bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.